Wonder Army. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. We are here with another video. If you've been around for a little while, you know that it wasn't even that long ago, like a few years ago, that I became an adult and started buying perfume. Before that, I was very much a, I don't even know, just I had perfume or body spray or like my whipped shea butter is very like aromatic. It kind of plays as a scent, but I wasn't like super into fragrances or having different fragrances for different times. Started buying perfume and I'm a little bit of a fragrance girly now. So uh, I have quite a collection um, for me. If you've ever seen like Jackie Ina's collection, that is insane. I don't even have the bandwidth to like take all that in or organize in my mind, but I definitely have probably over 20, maybe 30 perfumes now um, that I've kind of quickly collected because I just start buying. And I mean, just, I have my bedtime fragrances. I have fragrances that are good for daytime. I have like date night fragrances. I have winter, summer, just different kind of scents that I feel fit for different occasions. So today, as you see by the title, we are going to be talking about my five favorite dossier fragrances. So although I become a fragrance girly, I am not so much of a perfume girl that I can process paying 100 200 300 dollars for perfume that's just not i'm a single girl in the city like I, that's not where i'm investing my money right now but i love it for my friends who do and i definitely use them for reference and things like that but i love a good dupe i love a good similar scent i love good inspo so dossier is great for that so let's go ahead and jump into it i have some videos about dossier i'll probably throw one up here um, they are predominantly online. They have candles as well as like um, room oils and things like that. But they are now available at Walmart as well. Select Walmarts and select fragrances. But let's go ahead and jump in to the fragrances. I'm going to go in order of like lightest to heaviest, if that makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and just get into it. I'll, I'll explain it as I go. Okay, so I want to make sure I give you guys all the details for each one. Starting off, I'm kind of going to actually group these two together. Um, it is Woody Hyacinth and Woody Oak Moss. I'm grouping them together. They are both Chanel Inspo. So Woody Hyacinth is Chanel Chance and Woody Oak Moss is Coco Mydazelle. I actually use my label maker and put the Inspos on the back just because I kind of like to know for reference. And to show you that I really do use these and how much I love these, this is Chance. You can see it literally like she's got one more brunch on her and then this is one of my woody oak moss that's almost done and i re-upped and got a new one already um i looped them together because for me they are both very light very everyday which is why they're like used so quickly very everyday very daytime probably the closest that i get to like stereotypical feminine sense if that makes sense um woody oak moss is 29 dollars and uh, the notes, because I know some people like to know the notes and everything for these. So they describe it as subtly sweet with a twist of orange. So I'm not big, um, if you don't know what kind of scents I like, I'm typically more masculine scents, unisex scents, um, very warm. I don't like a lot of florals. I don't like super sweet. I don't like super fruity. So this for me definitely feels like lighter daytime for both of these scents. Um, and the dupes for them are over $75 more expensive than they are so woody oak moss clearly for me is that girl and woody hyacinth both chanel scents are two of my favorite which i'm just using as one like my favorite daytime scents. so light easy daytime i feel like for the most part everybody can kind of like those okay so my next one is gourmand white flowers she is her inspo is a very popular perfume victor and raw flower bomb I actually literally just got this one. This is one that just came in um, this week in my like newest purchase of perfumes. This is probably again very like this is about as feminine or as soft as I can go. Um, this one is described as a bubbly sweetness with a hint of vanilla. And I think for me is the vanilla that I like and that I pick up on. Because um, some of the middle notes are like white flowers, orchid and rose, which is very floral. But the base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla, which feels a lot more true to what I usually like. But again, this one for me feels like daytime. It could be nighttime, but if it was nighttime, it would definitely be a little more casual for me. She doesn't give like super sultry, super sexy, anything like that. This definitely feels like spring for me. 
Like, I don't know why. My brain literally says events. Like, if I was going to a day party or a brunch and I knew I was going to be going to evening, like, this is one I would pick up. And Victor Roth is $115. And this one is only $29. And they have, um, I believe they have Klarna or Afterpay. So, you can split her into four, which I'm always do that. And again, like I said, I have definitely over 20 perfumes some of them are a lot more masculine um woody tobacco um, i have like a powdery tobacco anything that has that tobacco or leathery kind of scent um some of them like i have one that is similar to alien um i have there's so many i actually just purchased my dad i don't think watches my video so um i just purchased a cologne for creed and dior so they have a lot of different scents and honestly sometimes when I smell the colognes, I might be like, mm, I might like that on myself. I think it's really important. This is a good site because it's less expensive to be able to test it on yourself and see if you like it. Like, paying $115 for Flower Ball, I probably would have been like, ah, I don't know if I like it that much. And everything smells different on everyone's skin. So some people are like, they live by Flower Bomb. But I feel like on your skin, you have to really figure out what works for you. And this is a good website to kind of test it out okay my next girl you can tell she gets used she's labeled and everything is ambry vanilla she is a dupe of ysl's black opium and this is getting a lot closer to like date night in the house after shower before bed like she smells sexy to me if that makes sense like she smells like i want to cuddle with her like i love this one and i feel like on the skin it just smells so good her notes are base notes. See, this is why she's my girl. But um, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee are her base notes. And then middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom, which you get a little bit of, but it doesn't feel too sweet, too overwhelming. So if you're not a super girly scent person, I think you will really like Ambry Vanilla. And she's twenty nine dollars. Regular wise stuff like opium is one hundred four. So my brain just can't wrap myself around. I don't know one day maybe but these just smell so good and they last i know a lot of times people are concerned about like if you have a discount scent you get discount quality and it's going to be going in 30 minutes i have an atomizer that i like put them in just because i like to re-up i'm a i'm a little damp after i spray perfumes i do like to load it up um but they last like you won't have to i don't really you have to use my atomizer and reapply it or anything like that last but not least this is my absolute let me just this is my absolute favorite scent from dossier this is amberie saffron and her dupe is baccarat now if you know because i want to give y'all the exact first of all i have this is not my first time mentioning amberry saffron but i every time i buy a new collection perfume i'm going to put amberry saffron in there because it is just Oh, it's so good. Um, but it's MFK's Baccarat Rouge Shop 40, which is $300 a bottle. So while she retails for $49 on Dossier, it's regular $300. And when I tell you, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I won't say every time. Most of the time when I wear this out, somebody is going to ask me, are you wearing Baccarat? I have been at weddings. I have been at work. I have been in an elevator and asked somebody, are you wearing Baccarat? Literally. I've been on a date and I got like, you got on Baccarat. So this is a really good dupe. Notes are oak moss, fur, and amber. Middle notes, jasmine, plum, cedarwood. Very deep woody notes. Oh, this is just, I love this one. So she's a little bit higher than the others, but I feel like her scent payoff, her quality, her amazing closeness to the actual is, you can't beat it. I really actually want to see if there's a, candle or like a room oil scent in this because all my house smell like this so those are my top five girls because i know i post them on instagram a lot and it's like okay you're always posting perfumes which ones are your really go-to girls like which ones you really like again i have more if you guys want to see any of my collection or have a question about any perfumes on the site just let me know i'm happy to answer i'm honestly still learning perfumes like learning about the top notes the middle notes and the base notes and how they kind of smell differently and all that kind of stuff but this has been one of the things that I've really gotten into and I really enjoy and like when I travel now I gotta have my perfumes random little thing I love the tops are magnets so if you pack it like it's not coming off in your bag love that
There we go. I'm like, I want to show you some magnet. But love that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.